All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do this you ma. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? It, it looks like a fish. Your Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Twenty have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
my medical opinion, these men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical board. Throw the other in the brig and keep him there. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Oh, just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that son. God damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no? You feeling all right? Oh, God, no. Charlie!
Won't you spare me over till another Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made.
Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid, like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Hey! <clears throat> oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Hey, don't look so worried. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow?
I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Selling, I'm buying. It, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. See those hot pigs. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Almost got the gear good to go. Hmm. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. 
For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Huh. What am I looking at here? This doesn't look kosher. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate here. You just don't give up, do you? Are those people like in or what? Like, I know the way to You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Out of the frying pan. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. Whoa, 
good? More or less. She wouldn't flip herself tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh and eager cabin boy? Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached, like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. 
What other dyes have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur. But I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! Game, set, match. Uh-huh. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? We are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? Damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. first can I just take a second to say holy shit Alex we did it I mean can you believe it it's a dream come true <laughs> let's not waste any time without exploring go go
Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that chill out i'm fine see no problemo this says it was a rescue plane launched from a u.s base they were on their way to help out a ship down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. God. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? Little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? Co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Oh 
That's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, okay. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait! We have to decompress! Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Fuck it, I'm going. Hey, JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? 
Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? I expected it to be cool, but that was, that was like life-changing cool. What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Bullshit. You're staring off into the ocean like a zombie, and now you're all grumbly. I'm sorry. Just tell me what's up. I guess I've just been worrying about things a lot lately. About us. Look, when we get home, we can talk about some stuff, but relax. I mean, it's not like we're breaking up. It's just some stuff we gotta deal with. Okay. Yeah. Stuff. Got it. I'm gonna go find Brad and Conrad and Fliss. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. I didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my limits. So, we're going again tomorrow? Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find him too. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. There, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, 
I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew was from the Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. But... They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an ax. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. 
You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. I think so. How this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Back for you later. 
Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. they have. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, yeah. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. 
I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Catch him with this old junker. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goat? in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us that up. asshole. Put a cork in it.
find out how long the storm is gonna last. You try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh, yeah. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Well, you seem to have already suffered a casualty. That was a bold move. Not smart, but bold. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. 
Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. Floating death trap. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. now.
Watson, you're in box to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. What is this fucking place? It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold? Guess it's a possibility. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Conrad went to get us help. We should wait for him. We need to call the Coast Guard, but the Duke's radio is shot. We gotta find a radio on this ship. I'm worried about Conrad. He took a bullet while we were making our great escape. He's fine. He'll be fine. So... What's the status of the Duke? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Mm, well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. This is very strange. What do you think this ship was? scared. This guy, Miller? Guy seems pretty spooked. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que... Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Va te faire foutre. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers On est en prison Charmant. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire... Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. 
Je sais pas, c'est... Cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Ton gueule Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine, et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. this letter that was never sent. Okay. Well, it said there were rumors about figures roaming around the cargo. Figures? You want to be more specific? Look, I'm not really sure what he meant. All I know is that I just get this really creepy feeling like something terrible happened here. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. I found this note, it was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy, Patterson, kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hold. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew and they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Back on the Duke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. So, what do we do? This is a fucking old ship, but maybe it still has a radio that works. Any idea where we'd find it? Uh, the bridge, above deck. All right, the second we get an open, we gotta take it and hope the radio still works. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Just be careful. Huh. They all left it behind. Give me a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get it off. Stripped. Not gonna work that way. What do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Yeah, this is the way out. Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Hey, hey. Can 
Can I get some help with this? Safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Jeez, maybe this is what scared everyone off. Weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right. Julia. No, 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 I can't. I, I can't do it. Julia, you've got to no. calm down. Let's go. Come on. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party.
Think it's safe to grab it? We gotta go get him. Y'a quelqu'un? Yeah. I guess it's not really such a good idea, huh? Ok, qui est là Je vous ai entendu Qui est là Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas Ta gueule Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Please, relax. Just messing around. All right, now what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of here too sweet. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Hey, we got a name on this guy. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. It's 
Look at this. It's insane. Is it even human? I mean, was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave! Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Will you please... Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. What's the matter? Shh. <gasps> what is it? Look! Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. That sound. Um, what sound? Oh, why so spick and span? No time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? does not look remotely safe. Taking me. Now, why would I tell you? <sighs> tell me where we are going, damn it! Whatever he tells you, don't you? Stop. Greg, come out! Show yourself! Damn it!
This fucking place is cursed. that noise what are you talking about I don't want to hear anything from you Olsen! still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, you go stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? What was that? C'est quoi ce bordel Hello? 
Is anyone there? a good sign. Julia's. They were here. Okay. They were here. Thank you. 
shit on a shamrock. What happened here? hearing. Close. Maybe they're through here. Need something to help me get up there.
Alex? Julia? Hello? Who's that? Who's there? Get away! Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? Where's the skin, guys? Where'd all the skin go? You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. I'm not hearing this. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no!
on here? God's name is this. This place is not right. What is going on here? Let's keep your head on straight.
weird. Brad? Captain? How did you find me? I'd say my plan of hiding from the crooks was a pretty solid move. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely give you that one. I mean, now they don't know how many of us there are. Mm-hmm. What's with the gas mask? I found it in one of the lockers. I thought it would help, but I don't know. We should get out of here. Okay, safe to say that we are now lost. It's a big ship and have a lot of corridors. I guess we just gotta explore every damn one of them until we find a way out. <laughs> wow, that is so not what you want to have happen when you're on a boat. We need to find a way up on deck. Hashtag my thoughts exactly. Well, that's some ledge. Come, Brad. Come over here. Whoa. Maybe up here. I don't think we can go any lower. I'd say that's the main drive shaft. You ready? Yeah.
looks like the way out. I wish I could say this was going to help, but it's kind of lame in every way. Shit, Sherlock. You're catching on. No, there's no way down this grate. Joe Brad, check it. That ladder. That could be our ticket out of here. <sighs> Wanna draw straws? I'll go. Okay. <laughs> be my guest. <sighs> Yo, Blitz! You okay? Yeah, sure. How about you? Oh, great. That's gonna be a big help. Damn it! It's okay. Uh, maybe there's another way. Uh, I'm looking up here. There's gotta be something. Uh, the ladder is for shit. Ha <laughs> 
Okay. Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That that guy. Fuck. What is 
dream. The dream were over? It's me, come on, let's go. I think we'll be all right here. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and... That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Did you see the gold? Anything? 
Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. This should go over well. What do you think actually happened to this place? Wish I knew. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? I can't shake the feeling we're in one big floating coffin. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. Over here! Got a way through here.
find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask him for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately, uh... 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. I'm still the captain of something, and the captain's telling you that I'm going to. All right, Fliss. Ready?
We're okay. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna find the generator so we can power the radio. We'll wait here by the radio. Hey. This way. I'm guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. That's gotta be where the generator is. You're right. Let's go down there. Ah. The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Hey! Ah. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> All good. Just come down. <gasps> oh, God. God. What? That, it, 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 it was, it was, wait, wait, didn't you see it? See what? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying Manchurian gold, which was actually some kind of dangerous chemical, right? And there's this, like, weird fog everywhere. Maybe that's the Manchurian gold. And maybe it's fucking us all up, like in the head, you know? This is kind of making sense. None of it happened. None of it was real. It was just a hallucination. We knew the crew was scared of something, and that could be it. Yeah. Could this have anything to do with the wrecked plane from the dive? I mean... Maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory, I guess. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. What do you think these guys are all about? Position? Yeah. Oh, money. I feel like they're just in over their heads or something. Switch and let's go back upstairs. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's got to be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! Please state your situation. Over! We need help! Now! 
There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. Recovery mission is en route to your location. Over. Oh, come on, work them in. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. Mmm. No, forget it. It's too heavy to drag along with us. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver. No! Je t'en prie! No! Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur! Ferme ta gueule de merde! Tu dis n'importe quoi! Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries! Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde! Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça! Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. There's no use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? <laughs> you can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. <laughs> Sure, I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up! Slow! No, no! Not like that! I said, no changing! Oh, 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 listen. Listen to me. We have no fight with you. You all just want to get out of here safely, you understand? I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got a say. 
Ah! Not again! It's all good changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Dude, what mist? Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us, now. You need to slow down. Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist! It's happening. I can feel it! Okay, all right, look. I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or a fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look! We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now! Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can't feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. No, no. I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop. Stop lying. You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying. The mist is inside. It's alive! Uh. Hey, man, come on. Just put the... Oh, oh dear God. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna go check the next level and see if I can find any more gear. Alex, please don't leave. I'm not gonna be long. Just wait by the radio. I saw the, the the big guy. He had the distributor cap. <laughs>
This must have been what we just heard. Whoa, what was that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here, he had to have come this way. Make the jump, Alex. I'll find a way around. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. Oh! <laughs> 
my god. Oh my god. The distributor cap, it's out of the picture. Guess it's time for a new plan. The Duke's not going anywhere without a distributor cap, so neither are we. Best I can figure out. We got a couple days. Maybe more if we can collect some rainwater. I always kind of knew I would die on a boat. But not this shitty boat. You don't understand, really. I mean, just how crazy it got down there. I mean, just how fucking out of control. We were trying to get the Duke back from those men. Conrad took the speedboat and tried to get help. It was their speedboat, the fishermen. And Connie made a run for it. He was just trying to get help. They're a bunch of rich, dumb American brats. They had no fucking clue what they were getting into. That fucker that took our boat, he thought there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. I mean, there were things down there that, you know, they shouldn't have been alive, you know? kind of things that can make you go insane. Does anyone know what happened to Conrad? He's my brother, and I... I, I, I just need to know he's okay. Please, I, I just need to know. You know, I tried to warn them not to mess with the dead. I tried. Manchurian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected.
That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. And the distributor cap? Boom. Unfortunate. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Hey! Hey! Uh, hey! What's going on, man? 